Hey everybody, today we are going to make together this kind of conveyor belt. It's very simple, but very fun. Without blah blah, let's do it. I want to cover this tutorial for totally beginners, so I will start modeling from zero everything. So I will make a rectangle. From the rectangle I will edit spline. Go down here and fill it to make it rounded. Cool. Next, we go make a box. Out A, bring to the center, just a, is a good practice. And then I'll use clone modifier. It's free to download. It's really great plugin and the link is on the description. So with the clone modifier you put number of copies and the displacement. And we're gonna adjust this in a second. Now you select path deform. Be careful because there is a patch deform, so path. Pick path, then the spline that we created, move to path and then you need to play around with this to make sense rotation 90 degrees and X in my case and now I can go back to clone and then uh, multiply until make full round and now in the box we can modify it as we want and because of my conveyor belt can drag things up uh, I create I modify it, edit table poly, I turn off here the show re end result, select here, ring, connect to, can spread it a little bit, select only this and extrude. Now let's make a quick animation, auto key, go to 100 and move the percentage as much as you want, that's fine. Now we have our conveyor belt, let's bring the flow to make it work. First you need to birth object, select your conveyor belt, don't need to display. Next we create element fracture, I'll show you why. So let's go to display, pixels, dis disable element fracture, hide our object and you're gonna see that's only one object, large dot. But when we break our element, it became each part of our object became one particle. Cool. As you can see here, geometry. But if you play, it will not animate. That's why you need our object bind. Let's unhide our real object. Select our object. Hide our object, display, let's change color here just to make it more sense. Now this is supposed to play and it will if you use lock to surface. Okay, so now it's working. You can observe that something weird is happening. This is curved and it will stay curved all the way long, see? But no worries, it will rotate, but we're not going to see. We're going to see our real object. Whoa. In our real object, because of path follow, it uh, deform, but bring back to shape. Now, we need to give it give a physics shape. 
and we need some particles to make it fall. So to speed up things, we can just create preflow, simple icon flow, bring the icon to the top, and now to make it work, we need also a physics, so we can select here, click shift and drag, so it will copy, in physics shape, select mesh, now it's working better. Let's change the shape. To geosphere. Let's scale this a little bit more. The reason that I create this shape is to be able to move objects up and down. For that, I create a dummy. Select both, link to the dummy, and now when you animate the dummy, you can animate the conveyor belt. Let's turn off die flow for a second, go to the frame 20, set key 40, move it up, set key. And let's play our animation. You can see what happened if we don't have those hinges, so we just turn off the table poly and see how it will behave. This is the core of my animation and I think now you are free to create anything using this setup. If you wonder how to create more conveyor belts, you just select those guys here and copy. Let's move this to the top, move this to the to down, remove those animations. Birth object I will select also this, bind to surface also this extend the animation time bring back vegetable poly for this and also for this just because and The setup of my scene is exactly what I teach you. Two conveyor belts animated by the dummy. In my case, the particle was falling side to side, so I created these walls on the side. The object emitter, this is just fake emitter here. <laughs> just a box I put around, here is the emitter, but give a great illusion that this is where it's coming from. And basically that's it. If you have any doubts or comments, please write below to me, I will answer. And that's it guys, subscribe, see you next one.